Let's go check it out. This is the main area where all the food and restaurants are located. Right here you have the restaurant, the boat house, Lola and Frank's Italian cuisine, land shark, and then the Japanese hibachi is towards the beach area. But they offer a lot of different seating areas throughout the place. As you can see all the colorful chairs and then this is your directions for the punch, which is a bar. Land Shark, which is another restaurant. Saint Somewhere Spa, where you can go get manicures, pedicures, massage, facials, and um, even exercise. The Boat House hasn't seemed to really been open for dining. Um, at night, but it seems like it's an overflow uh, seating area for the restaurant um, and their buffet. And then Frank and Lola's Italian cuisine and Pan Asian. And then the Parakeets Kids Club. So, you know, if you're traveling with your family and your kids, um, they have sitters on site that will uh, watch your kids while you go have a little bit of fun. As I mentioned, this is the boat house. Um, it's currently open in the mornings. And then right across from it, you have Frank and Lola's Italian cuisine. And the food there, I think, has probably been the best on site. Land Shark, which is also right here, brewery. They are definitely the go-to place at nighttime, along with the punch bar um, for drinks. They have these bing bag chairs and other seating and table area. They also offer Joe's Merchant, which is where we're headed right now. Joe's Merchant is a coffee and provisions place. We're here at time of check-in. They'll give you uh, points um, on, your, on your wristband, which is this. Sorry if you can't see it, but it says Margaritaville. And they'll preload a certain amount of points based off of how long your stay is. And you can use that since this is an all-inclusive um, location. You go to Joe's Merchant to, to use your points. You only get one set of points for your entire stay. So you just want to be mindful not to overuse your points in one day. 
and Joe's Merchant is the only place that you can use them on site and redeem them for services. When you're in Joe's Merchant, one side of the um, store is set up to use your points and then the other side is actually free. So they offer different types of setups and basically um, they have uh, Joe's Merchant set up as I mentioned on the point system and it allows you to customize your in-room refreshments and the points will be available until your checkout time. Um, you can buy wine, they have full bottles, they have chocolates, they have candy, different assortments of chocolate and coffees, um, actually like coffee beans and ground coffee. They have an assortment of different chips and all these items have point prices on them. They have different bottles of different liquor and alcohols that you can purchase. You also have your refreshment drinks, such as like water. They do have Coca-Cola. They have some select few of beers. And then their signature drink here in Dominican Republic are, is the Presidente. And they have this in pretty much every restaurant on site. But of course, if you would like to indulge in the drink in your room, you would come to Joe's Merchant and just grab anything out of this store that you would like. So on this side, they do have different deli options or treats that you can get along with your coffee. And then, of course, they also offer like different oatmeal, fruits, even wraps. So you have like a chicken wrap or sub sandwiches with like turkey and different assortments of meats. Also have like fresh juices where you see like the green juice where it's got a mix of different pineapple, lettuce, cucumbers. So definitely an option of something to consider if you're looking for, you know, something that's not too heavy, but definitely light on the stomach. So when you come on this side and you get ready to purchase your items, you see you use these, you buy these things and then you use your room key. This is also your room key. And you scan it here for them to take the points off. And then your receipt will tell you how many points or how much you have left. So when you're in the elevator, they have touchless buttons. So all you do is you just hover over whichever floor you would like to go to and it'll light up when you touch it. Or I'm sorry, when you hover in front of it, it'll just light it up. Mm -hmm. Or if you don't need those, just, oh, we won't turn them off, but you turn them on. <laughs> okay, so they have the ice machine located in the hallways. So we're gonna walk. They, they're they really neat to me because they're not like your typical ice makers. They're built into the wall and all you do is put your cup or your container that you're trying to fill in here and you just push this and your ice falls out. Like, I really thought that was really cool because most ice makers, you see like a big bulky machine, but this one is literally like a little cubby in the wall where you come and you see right here, this is the hallway. So when you get to your room, there is a white box that is on the outside of your door. This is for housekeeping. And if you want someone to come in and actually clean your room, um, you can't barely see it, but the vacuum cleaner one is dark, but the tag one is red. So the red means you do not want someone to come in and clean your room. Once you come into your room, they also have that same button inside of your room here. And so if you're headed out or, you know, you're first coming into your room, you can turn this button off 
you can turn this one on which it turns to a green color that lets them know that you want them to come in and clean your room but if you turn that one on that tells them do not come in and clean this room